Stephanie, earlier today, the Associated Press reported that today was the deadliest day in Texas with 58 deaths statewide and eight of those in El Paso, marking the largest daily total in one county in the entire state. But if you take a look at this uh, graph from Health and Human Services from the state, there's today's date with eight deaths located right here. This is eight deaths re represented there, but the city only reported two deaths. The Associated Press provided ABC 7 with the spreadsheet that is used for this graph and it shows eight new deaths for El Paso. But if you count the total reported on this graph or in the spreadsheet, the total deaths being reported by the state are 41 to less than today's 43. Now, if you look at all the daily new case counts up here, they're all a day behind. So tonight's 151, as you see here, that's where that spike should be, won't show up until tomorrow. As for the spike of eight deaths, you can see here that there are two days in a row where each of those two days they're reporting zero when actually we saw three and five respectively for a total of eight showing up by the, represented by this spike right here, which uh, we've reached out by the way to the city, which was unaware of the state's reporting lag and they are reaching out to the state. Stephanie.